is there something on your mind that we can explore? Something that you think is true? Something that if you found out tomorrow it was not true, it would change your behavior? Hmm. Make it interesting. Imperious? Imperious. Um, insufferable? Imperious? Yeah. Okay. I like to save it all up. And... Okay. So, like, resilient, kind of? Like, this is my universe, and you are welcome to participate in my universe today. Cool. I know. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Are you okay if I record? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> It's kind of hard to put it on YouTube without. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. That is true. All right. Interesting t shirt, by the way. Thank you. Um, I live in Olympia, right on the um, south end of the Puget Sound. And epistemology is kind of what I'm interested in um, the way we know things. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. How, how you know what you know. Okay. Um, did I explain what I was doing okay? Briefly, Do you have any questions? I'm going to let it just be mysterious. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Like a mystery? All right. Um, can I get your first name? Ellen. Ellen? Mm -hmm. Can you spell that for me? E-L-L-E-N. Great. Thanks for stopping by. Sure. So, is there something on your mind that we can explore, something that you think is true, something that if you found out tomorrow it was not true, it would change your behavior. Hmm. Okay, sure. Let's say I think climate change is anthropogenically um, sourced. I think we're making it happen. Right? Humans are causing climate change? To a great extent. Not entirely, but to a great extent. I, I believe that to be true. Okay. Okay. We can talk about climate change. Is there, is there a deeper belief that's informing your opinion about climate change and, and how it's being caused? Um, I would say that it, there would have to be an, un, I would have to have an underlying um, acceptance of the news media, science news, statistics, um, a set of um, data or media resources that I trust, right, yeah. in order to presume that, that climate change is real and not a hoax. Okay. I think my personal observation isn't sufficient because life is short i'm in one location so on and so forth so in order to assess that opinion i'm drawing off of external resources okay 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 so you don't necessarily rely so much on your own personal observation but other sources that you find reliable yes okay how do you decide what sources are reliable and what which ones aren't 
Um, it's a good question. Um, and I don't know how to answer it in a, in a general way, so I'll try and keep this as concise as I can. Okay. Um, I'm politically progressive, so I am inclined towards um, news sources like Reuters or AP. And in addition, I like science news and PN, PNAS and um, the BBC and the Guardian. Um, This past couple of years, I prefer news sources that don't use inflammatory adjectives at all in okay. their headlines. So, like less shock media, that less, kind of thing. Any anything that's going to try and grab me by the amygdala, um, I'm like, yeah, no, you're fucking with me. Thanks. Uh huh. On either side. So it'd be like sources that don't rely on. Um, really catchy headlines. Yeah, like appealing to your emotion. Exactly. That kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. What what would you say is your most reliable source for information about climate change? Um, I like Sightline. Sightline? Yeah. They're out of Seattle, I think. Sightline. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what makes them reliable? Great question. Um, when they have sources, they cite them. Citing sources? Yes, yeah, citing sources is really good. And um, what else do I? I feel like I've been paying attention to climate change for so long, I don't really know my sources <laughs> very well at this point. That's cool. Um, could, could, a, could an unreliable source also cite sources? Sure. Sure. Uh, uh, there have been famous instances of that where one bad piece of data gets promulgated out multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, so the quality of the citation matters. Okay. The is it quality another, of the citation. Yeah. Okay. Is it another news source? Is it a news source that I have come to believe? Um, like, it's fine that news is turned into entertainment. CNN and Fox both are entertainment resources more than news resources. Reuters is a bit more still newsy, right? And therefore, it adheres more likely in my belief. It adheres to the ethical obligations of journalistic integrity, which is um, aspiring to objectivity, never achieving, but aspiring to. Okay. So I'm sorry to be so long-winded. No, that's okay. So Sightline is a reliable source mm -hmm. because it cites sources. It's, it's ethical and it and it has integrity. And it is specific. Specific, okay. I like specific. That adds to the quality? Yes. Okay. Okay. On a scale from zero to 100, where zero is absolutely no confidence, uh -huh. 100 is absolute confidence, how confident are you that Sightline is a reliable source for climate change? And I, and, and Really, they're, they're, what they're doing is looking at local legislation. Um, so they're not my main resource, my only resource for climate change, but they're a good resource for urban, I'm stumbling, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, you said that Sightline was your most reliable source for climate change information? Let me amend that because Sightline is really good for pro-climate regional legislation, my most reliable source about climate change, gosh, let's say Science Daily, Science News, one of those two. Science Daily? Science Daily and Science News. Okay. And I'm sorry for going down a rabbit hole and I can tell you why specifically. Those two um, are aggregators of um, reports from universities 
scientific studies. Um, okay. Yeah. Does does Science Daily do the same things that were supporting your confidence in Sightline? Like specific, specific, ethical, uh, that have integrity and not um, high and not emotional, emotional stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so same same reasons. Same reasons. Okay, so same question with that scale, mm -hmm. uh, zero to one hundred. How about Science Daily? How how confident are you that, that that they are a reliable source for climate change information? Seventy five. Seventy five. Okay. Uh, why not higher? They're aggregating university studies. University studies are funded in a variety of ways. Some of the ways that university studies are funded are um, industrially based, or there's there's politics involved in university studies. Okay, so the funding could be corrupted and that's why yeah. you're not higher than 75? Yeah. Okay, okay. If, if you found out that the funding was, there was no cor corruption at all, mm -hmm. hypothetically. Okay. Uh, would that cause your confidence to go up? 80 to 85%. It would go up though? It would go up. To 85 -ish. Yes. Maybe. Okay. What would um, make it go down? What would make, uh, if... What would make it go down from 75 and drop? If I knew that the funding source was a for-profit industry that was at risk right now. Okay. Um, if I was looking at a scientific study funded by Merck that was saying that vitamin D was terrible, uh -huh. um, I would have less confidence. Okay. So it, it sounds like a lot of this confidence that you have is about the funding because it, it's the funding that would make it go up and it's the funding that would make it come down. It's what I'm hearing. Is that accurate? That's reasonably accurate. Okay. It, I'm sure it's more, I could make it more complicated, but that works. Okay, yeah. great. Um, is there, like, how have you tested this? How have you tested the reliability of Science Daily being an, a reliable source for climate change information? Um, the way I usually test things now is I, if I'm interested in something in specific, like the nature of the material used for solar panels, for example, um, and I see something in Science Daily, I will cross-check. I do my own aggregating by going onto Google and looking at what other, you know, industry magazines say, what other science articles say, what. Um, whatever else I can find. And, and occasionally, because um, I work with engineers, I'll just ask them. I'll ask my okay. coworkers. People yeah. that you trust. That you trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. To be knowledgeable and to not have, and to be inclined to do their best to tell the truth. Why do you trust them? Um, years of experience with them in assessing who they are as people. Right? So okay. that's a subjective assessment on my part. Um, Could somebody be a good person and not give you correct information? I would assume that every good person doesn't give me correct information. You assume that every good person does not give you correct information? That would be, I mean, I think people do the best they can, um, but like not intentionally not in well not intentionally and then periodically i think even very nice people withhold mislead or subject to their own biases okay okay cool um is there a way to find out if science daily was not a reliable source of information it's a good question um that's a great question. I don't know. Um, okay. Because it's an aggregator, it would, if I were to try and 
look under the storm to assess its accuracy, I'd have to look at the university studies themselves. Um, I'd have to find another scientific news aggregator and search on the same studies in one aggregator and another to see if they're giving or pulling out the same content. And that's a way to find out if they were not yes. reliable? Right. Like, let's say there was, you know, um, Sound Epistemology Weekly, right? Uh -huh. And you were a science aggregator. And you're like, ah, I have this amazing article from the University of Göttingen about grass seeds, about pollen. And Science Daily has an article about pollen, and it's from the same study. If I look at yours and theirs, and, and you're pulling out a paragraph that's like, oh, man, pollen is, like, rich in nutrients. We should just suck that stuff up mm -hmm. and science daily takes the same study and says oh no pollen is evil that would be my way of evaluating the legitimacy of science daily okay so like one comparing, way or the other comparing them apples to apples as much as possible okay okay uh if okay so with the information you have and the reasons that you're using and your your inability, it sounds like, to find out if you were wrong about this. It, do you think 75 is high or low? I think it's pretty high. Are you still at 75? Yeah. Still at 75? Okay. Cool. Do you have any uh, questions for me? Um, oh, I love to ask you questions, but I... Um, <laughs> You don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't. You'll be here till midnight. Yeah. Well, we we have a uh, meetup we're going to soon, so I don't I don't think I'd be able to sit around that long. But I like to offer um, you to, to ask can, me anything that you want to. Can I see this and other interviews so that I have better understanding of what you're doing? Yes. How do I do that? There's a QR code on the board. Okay. Um, or you can take a picture of this. Let me take a picture. This is basically like a like a, an, an electronic business card. That way I don't... Understood. Not, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, um, I'm so sorry to take so long in answering your questions and being no, so... No, you did, you did great. I um, thought that was good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, sure. I love answering. As I love talking about... It's a great inquiry because ultimately underneath the you know stone of certainty there's a lot of uncertainty i would assume mm -hmm. and you know you get back to first principles you're not going to really have anyone who can prove anything would be on the shadow of a doubt unless their proof is based on faith and that's a different kind of proof faith i mean i think it all comes down to yeah anyway it's really coming down Take up. Did you want to go? Would you like to do one? Sure, why not? Uh, okay, awesome. I it's really interesting. My, stuff, really but... um, my name is David. I don't know if I told you um, that yet. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you. And thanks so much again for, for stopping and uh, letting me ask questions. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Have a okay. seat. All right. And what's your, what's your name? Mark. Mark? Yes. Good to meet you, Mark. Yeah. Hey. Oh, look at this. Wow. M-A-R-K? Yes. Okay. 